Yo, what's good guys? We are back with a video and I think we finally have everything and if not, we're just going to kind of jump in and do our first print really. So we're going to be screen printing for the first time. We have the pre-burn screen from Arena Prints. Um, kind of not the best placing. I could be wrong about this, but yeah. We'll see how this goes. I feel like it should be a little lower down. I'm not sure if the paint can go through the top part. I kind of think it can. I, so we're going to have to be really careful. But, you know, we're just doing a practice print. And if we mess up, we mess up. I'll go through everything we have, too, just so you guys can kind of see what I bought. This is a really basic setup. So we have the squeegees. These are like 10 bucks off Amazon. Most expensive thing is going to be your screen. And I actually just bought all the materials I need to burn my own screens because, you know, I feel like the turnaround time is kind of long for a pre burn screen. So I'd rather just do it myself, save myself some time. And eventually, if I want to keep on printing, I want to have to buy the materials anyways. So you'll end up saving some money in the long run. Especially if I'm just going to. Keep doing like practice prints like this because i feel like i'm going to want like an actual graphic on the tee not just the words for the brand if that makes sense and then here's our ink uh apparently it's better to go with like uh, it's not a water-based ink i think it's something else um just because then you can leave it on and you don't have to worry about cleaning it immediately and the screen won't get ruined but uh, I went with Speedball. We have all different colors here. We got white, yellow. The top like isn't even on, hopefully. Yeah. Yellow. I think we want like something kind of bright for my first print, probably. I'm not exactly sure which color I'm going to use. We got is this gray or black. Blue, red, green. So that's just the uh, variety pack off Amazon. So you're just going to get a lot of basic inks, uh, your six main colors. We have the water-based screen opener. So this is for just spraying on afterwards. So I am not exactly sure about the cleaning process. Um, I believe that we're just going to spray this on. Uh, first, you're going to scrape off any extra ink you can with this. And then you're going to spray that on and then kind of wipe it down with like a paper towel. Definitely no water. It said uh, here's Teflon sheets. We're going to put that on the t-shirt when we're done and then use an iron. Uh, and we're just going to iron it down so the it stays when we're uh, washing it. And I think it only needs to be 200 degrees is what I saw for this. So that's no problem with a home iron. Um, instructions right here from arena prints we have a vintage blank right here a faded navy or kind of yeah sun faded maybe i don't know just worn heavily uh through the loom easy to wear tag not that old just like a y2k maybe tag but yeah we're gonna see how this goes um i definitely think i will mess up but, you know, you just kind of got to jump into it and do it. So we're going to go with the long squeegee here. I uh, already have gotten paint on my clothes. So please wear clothes you do not care about. Um, we'll just pour some out. See how that works. And I'm going to try and scrape from the top down. If that makes sense. Okay, definitely need to get some sort of tool so I can get this out, but all right, let's go. Make sure you tape down your T next time.
All right. Wow, that came out pretty good, guys. All right. On to the next. Um, I have, like, no space to put this anywhere, but... Now, you want to be able to see, I think, the colors while you're printing. Like, you should be able to see. It looked darker in one side, like the A. And I feel like it looked brighter on the other side. I could be wrong about that. Now, I totally put this on top of that. Um, not have done that, but it's okay. Didn't mess up the print too bad, but I'm going to get it on the t-shirt if I put it back down right now. So let me go ahead and do something about that. All right, so overall, the prints look good. Um, one thing is annoying though because i'm going to want to put this down like kind of close just so the print is where i want it and it's going to get on the screen so but whatever i'll clean off the screen i mean it's coming out really good um i should have used more ink but i know it will get on the shirt if i get out of the emulsion so that's my only thing And don't be afraid to go over top of it, like, a lot, I would say. Okay, so I did learn something new. Um, I thought that because this emulsion wasn't, like, up here on the white part, that it would, like, go through this. But no, that was not the case. This ended up printing out fine. We're going to do one more. Um, just because I want to fill the t-shirt, why not? And it's looking good. I'm really liking the way this is coming out. Okay. Push this down more. You know, maybe give it a second to dry just because the way this is placed overall really good though um, I'm having no problems printing this I mean I really like it I gotta say it's much easier than I thought too you know it might be better if you don't have like a good setup honestly to do it on the ground I would say This is a very annoying noise. Okay, there we go. Better. All right. Well, I think that looks good for now, guys. I gotta say, I think we're done. Um, we're, now we're gonna clean the screen. That's like another big part. Other than that, yeah. We will iron this on, make sure it stays. And we should be good, guys. Our first print. All right, you got the water based right here. Let's scrape this off the extra.
it was covered. Now I'm cleaning it. You're starting to be able to see actually where the holes are. And you know, there's still paint coming off. So I'll probably clean a bit more until that's not happening. I mean, it's honestly looking decent, guys. Um, I think we can stop. But again, I just want to be sure because I don't want to have to worry about this not working again. And look, you might want to make sure you put something underneath because, like, look, that's uh, the leftover. It will go through to the other side, of course, just like your screen printing. Yeah, I'm probably like way overdoing this, but like, uh, I don't know, maybe not because there's still stuff coming off. I'm still seeing like a bit of red in the little American built part right here. And I guess, I mean, if any of these are covered, you're going to have a problem next time you go to print. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. The outside parts, I would say. Uh, just because you're not going to get the screen perfect like ever, I would probably guess. But overall, that looks pretty good. I mean, there's not like a lot of red coming out there. All right, guys, uh, we have our finished product here. It's still a bit wet, but, you know, the iron will help with that. Um, let's see. So we got the iron here. It's been heating up. It should be kind of hot now, at least to the point we need it. Um, we are just going to be taking this Teflon, I believe, paper. Yeah, Teflon sheet for heat press. You know, it only needs to get up to like 200 degrees here, so it should be good. Um, I've never used this before, the Teflon paper. So we will see if it makes a difference. Um, I have no idea because I've never screen printed before, but we'll see. I just plugged in not that long ago. So you could even just sit it somewhere. You want those print to last is the main goal, especially if you're producing these to sell. Um, this one, I don't think I'm going to be selling. It's just going to be a homemade print for myself, kind of see where the brand started about the things that... Um, I have bought in preparation for, you know, I was going to look for my phone, but it's recording, but uh, some things that I bought so that I can print uh, at home. So hopefully this is just about good. I mean, it shouldn't take much longer, but I just want to make sure it's good. I've, I haven't really seen anyone iron it, actually. I've seen the heat press, which I'm sure is like ready to go already. But um, I bought a inkjet printer. You need that for the transparency films and then I bought a tran the transparency paper for the printer you need of course like Photoshop or I think it's Canva and a good understanding of that so you can print out your designs um, and that's still something I'm working on myself I want to get like really good at Photoshop um, pretty much every day I'm just watching YouTube videos on Photoshop intuitive designs has been someone I've been watching a lot you can learn I think I learn something new every time I watch a video of his just because there's so much in there to watch. Um, he does a great job teaching about the designs. And then let's see, what else did I get? I got bought a UV light because you need that to burn uh, the prints into the screen. Um, I bought a bunch of screens also. Um, I bought the emulsion, the emulsions for, it's what you put on the screen first so it doesn't uh, go through. And then I bought the emulsion scraper too, because you need that to put on the uh, screen. So I bought those things. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I bought it all off Amazon too. Just very easy, very simple to get it off Amazon. You know, I think the biggest uh, expense was the printer, of course. That was like $65. But, you know, you look how many prints you can make from that. 
is a ton. I mean, you're getting 30 transparency papers for like 13 bucks. Um, one pre-burned screen is going to cost you like $65, 85 with shipping around 90, probably after taxes. So you're getting a really good deal if you do what I'm doing right now, I guess, but you got to learn how to do it and learn how to Photoshop, which you're going to need either way, I guess, if you're sending in your prints, but hopefully this is done. Um, I'm going to go over, I guess, a bit more with some weight on this iron to make sure. This is like a really old iron too. It's not like anything special, anything fancy. We are going very simple for this first print. Nothing crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed making it. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I thought it was just kind of like, oh, that's not going to come out good. That's kind of impossible. Get the prints I want. You know, I've been looking all over about like what I should do exactly. Should I get like an embroidery machine and go through it that way? And embroider different things but um i think we're really going to be going with prints because that's exactly what i want to do is get some crazy designs crazy graphics um i'm not opposed to the embroidery machine though i think that could be something very useful and really cool to use another tip um when you can like machines um of course with like the printer i don't know I just kind of wanted it. I think all that stuff is on Amazon Prime, so I'm getting it like next day. But um, hopefully this is good. Yeah, hopefully this is good. Um, it was still a bit wet when I put this Teflon paper over it. I guess that's what it's for maybe is to prevent any of the ink from getting onto like the iron. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me. Maybe look that up. But yeah. looks like it's pretty good you know see like look it was kind of still a bit wet and then those white marks right here are not from um anything else other than just the way i was ironing it all right i mean it's looking pretty good i might go over it a tad bit more on my own so another random topic this is like really big on me but um you know this is how the t-shirt came out I think it came out pretty good. The print is nice. I could have fit one more probably uh, in the top, but you know, what can you do? I didn't really measure it out. You know, I just want to do my first print, get it out of the way. I'm probably going to save this pre burn screen for like a future project or something with the brand. But as for the brand goes, I'm not just going to print like my name on t shirts. That's kind of boring, in my opinion. Um, I mean, it was fun for me to print one and kind of get an idea of screen printing. But I want to actually print design, so that's why I'm buying all this, all these materials, I guess, so I can, you know, print on T-shirts an actual design, uh, something cool that like someone else would like or relate to. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, you know, we got our first print done, and yeah, talk to you guys later.